What are you listening to? Welcome back to After Hour Happy Hour. We are your chaotic but cathartic co-host. I'm Jamila. I'm Vicky. I'm Sharon. And in today's setup, you can see that I'm here with Vicky in Korea. So if you listened to my last solo episode, then you will know what I'm doing in Korea and how long I'll be here for. If you haven't listened to it yet, highly recommend checking it out. Give me a little bit of support on that because I was feeling nervous as shit that I record twice on that podcast episode, you know? But since then, it's been a lot better. I've adjusted and life is looking happy and rainbows most of the time. I just want you guys to know that the only reason Jam is happy is the last five days of the week. I think she spent four of those days, maybe three, with people. That's why she's happy. And then on the two days that she was left alone, I would come home to her very sad. No, literally, remember, I told, I, I like called you, right, Sharon? And then I started crying. <laughs> and then afterwards, like I saw a person or a Bumble friend and I texted you. I said, like, oh my God, I don't know why every time after I talk to you, I'm just a lot better. I'm the happiness in everyone's lives. I think you're just my therapist. <laughs> ah, I got you, man. No crying 2022. No, no cry on my birthday. Ooh. It's okay. I saw a TikTok that was like, oh, girls who know they're going to cry on their birthday, but for their birthday are the hottest girls. So it's fine, Jam. You're just hot. <laughs> she just got trauma. <laughs> Let's just have you cry for the fifth year in a row. It's fine. No, this. if I cry this year, it'll be the sixth year. <laughs> Because I caught my 18th, my 19th, my 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. It would be my seventh year if I cried. Don't cry. Bitch, <laughs> cry. No, I got beat the seven year mark. You know how K pop groups have that seven year thing? No, let's make Jam cry. No. Okay, I might have like my Bumble friends at the birthday thing. There's no way I could cry. They're going to be like, what the fuck's wrong with her? I mean, just say that when you get drunk, you cry. No, that's embarrassing. You have nothing to cry, I about, cry this year. about. Yeah. Knock on wood. I swear to God, if you cry about. I'm over it. <laughs> what if I cry about you? You won't. What if she calls you and she's like, Oh my god, Sharon, I miss you so much. I mean, Sharon, can you come to Korea? Dude, if you come to Korea, it's going to be so fucking fun. I know. It would be lit. You can meet all the friends that I've made. How many friends have you made? I've made three. More than oh one I've god. made the past oh, year that I've been here. Wow. Jam really is a social butterfly. But like as a social experiment, I want to leave Jam alone and just see what happens. <laughs> She would mentally Sorry. break down. Sorry. Yeah, she would not be okay. That's I what... didn't realize how bad Jam was at being an introvert until literally this past week where I've been so used to like being home by myself and like doing everything by myself. But the fact that I'll go to work for like seven hours maybe and come home and Jam's just depressed. Like she's done with life. But then if there are days that I come home and she's hung out with people, she's a totally different person. Like she's not depressed. She's happy. <laughs> It wasn't ever this bad. It just got worse. I think it wasn't ever this bad because in college or whatever, there's always like something to do. Like I know I'm going to class or I know I'm going to hang out with someone. And, you know, if I don't, I'm at home. But like I know there's something to do the next day. Like I was always busy. But now that, you know, it's about quarantine, like next day was like work. It was like not something I look forward to. And then now it's like everything's on my own schedule. So then sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't, if I don't have anything to look forward to, I just like, ugh. So I just realized I like being busy. Like, I hate not being busy. Well, good for you for making friends. Bumble, man. Dude, Bumble sponsor me. Like, please. I've made two friends back in SF. I made three friends here. I'm a strong advocate of Bumble friends. Check it out. Bumble dating, not so much. Well, anyways, that's a little update on our And we could get into this episode about music. <laughs> Wait, I want to know about Sharon snowboarding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Jam's like, I want to get this episode over with so we can get to the next one, which is drinking. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, snowboarding was really fun. Did you learn how to snowboard? Well, I think my muscle memory kicked in because it was fine. The thing is, there's a toe side. It's not just heel side, it's toe side. And I can do heel side fine, but then toe side. Oh, I think it's too. also because like I was told to get on my tippy toes, not necessarily like I didn't think to I didn't think of bending the knees more so than like getting on the tips of my toes. So I feel like the next time I go, I will be fine. 
but then we started on like a baby slope and it was fine and then all max and them were like oh you're gonna get bored here so come with us i was like oh, okay so i went with them and i ate shit like ten thousand times i basically had to like um hold on to max's ski sticks <laughs> to get out of like the flat terrain and then i didn't go back i just stayed on the <laughs> the baby slope with terrence Oh my god, that's so funny. Hey, at least they thought you could do it. I think next time. Hey, how about you tell everyone all the series of unfortunate events that happened there? Oh, right. So I decided to borrow everything from my friends because I'm not going to buy my own gear. So then that morning of, given we woke up at like 5 a.m. and left by like 6. So I think I was just, I don't know, dead. I forgot my snow pants that I borrowed. So I got there, I realized. So I was literally, it was snowing. I was literally in my leggings walking to the resort dying. And then I bought snow pants there and they were like $200. <sighs> and then on one of the runs, and I lost my phone. But the thing is, I had zipped my zipper. It just fell out. I guess I was aggressively shredding the gnar or whatever. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and then it fell out. And then I was really like sad because I've never lost my phone ever, even at a rave or an event. So I was like, no way, I'm losing my phone on a freaking hill. But then a nice lady had it and then she dropped it off. So then, yeah, I got it. So it worked out. Yeah, it was fun. We should do it sometime. Nice. I oh I miss it. I was literally telling Jab yesterday. I think I'm a snow baby. Like ice skating, mm. snowboarding. I just want to be on ice all the time. Cause you're cold. Sure, cold hearted. <laughs> I'm not cold hearted. Next year we can go sh- go snowboarding together. I'm down. I'll be ready. I'll be on the bunny snow. Hey, guess we can actually get started on this episode. <laughs> That's our little life update. Oh, I was telling Vicky this the other day, but I also say the downfall of our podcast is that we know too much about each other. Okay, no, we're too kept up with what each other are doing. So that we never have anything to share on the podcast. No, it's because we don't do anything with our lives. <laughs> As in like, we don't go on dates. <laughs> okay, but even if we go on dates, we'll just text each other immediately about it. I mean, yeah, but we could we could really get into it in, in a podcast episode. I guess. That was just my hypothesis. Well, Jam should go on dates just to go on dates. That's what I said. I was just like, just swipe. It's fine. I feel like you had interest in the market here. You just excused it with, I'm not here. So that'd be a perfect opportunity to go on a date just to go on a date. Yes, but not Seattle anymore, so that's in the past. But there, I feel like there's potential here too. You just gotta go. I mean, I, I'm on it. It's not like I'm not on it. Do you actually plan? You should initiate no. planning. Uh, I'll plan with the friends I have. That's why we don't have funny stories. Why don't you go on a date? You've been here for eight months. You see my schedule? Do I look like I have time? On the weekends, yeah. It's not like you hang out with people. Who are you? <laughs> I have friends to hang out with. Damn. Fuck. That's what it's like. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Your friends are my friends now. You haven't even met them yet. I'm meeting one today. It's okay, Vicky. I'd be in the same position as you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you should be glad that I'm making friends or else I'm going to sit here in your apartment depressed for the entire two months. I am here. very happy you are making friends. <laughs> it's just funny that you have more friends than me. Oh, I thought you were going to say, I, I am happy that you're depressed in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> you get to feel what I feel all the time. I hate it. <laughs> Dude, I was telling Vicky, I was like, dude, the more I like stay here with you, the more I feel like, oh, this, she is really good at seeing her misery. But I don't know just because she planted an idea in my head and now I think that. I think so. I don't sit in my misery. I haven't sit in my misery recently. I think you've been uh, pretty good recently. Okay, should we get started with the episode, people? Starting yes. with songs. <laughs> Who wants to go first? If you're new here, basically we share music sesh every month. We each share our favorite listens or song at the moment that we each probably haven't heard before and then we share our thoughts on it go first sharon kick us off okay my fuck what's my song christmas tree my song is called christmas tree by b and my guess is that neither of jam nor vicky liked it i liked it oh i liked it because it was v yeah i like his voice like i like v's voice and if it came i'll listen to it but it's not an add to my playlist kind of thing. Mm, yeah. Did I you watch the current drama? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. I had a feeling that Jam wouldn't like it because she doesn't like soft stuff. You know, she's weird like that. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not soft. That's why. Are you saying we're soft? I think you guys have a soft heart. Vicky's not soft. Yeah, I was like two minutes ago. You guys said I was has cold. problems. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry. Anyway, um, okay, so I knew this song came out 
for the drama, Our Beloved Summer. And then I listened to it when it came out and then I didn't think anything of it. I don't know. I think I was just, I don't know why. M- mentally, I was probably not in a good place in December or whenever it came out. Anyway, uh, so then I was like, I didn't think anything of it. And then I knew this drama was getting a lot of hype. And so I started it. And then one of the episodes or the maybe it was the first episode, this song came on. And then I was like, I know this voice. It's Tay. And then I was like, oh my god, wait, this is a song that's featured on a drama. And I freaking love this song. Like, I think it's gonna be... Actually, I know for a fact it's my number one played song in 2022 so far. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay that way. Bitch, you said that about the last yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. You scratch everything that I said about the last songs. I lose that. Are you sure? You're like, yeah. Which one? Oh, um, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> The one we did on the last music sesh? The Runaway I, I, Island. No, no, no. no. no it was um, Beauty. The Rose. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Beauty. And the Beast. Yeah, Beauty. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I was like, are you sure? You're like, yeah. Beauty and the Beast might. I think I Love You So Bad will be on top above that though. Yeah. And I told Jam, I'm not sure if I will like Tay's music because he's very unique. Like he likes jazz. He likes orchestral music. You know, that kind of vibe. So I was like, if he releases music like that, I don't know that I would like it. But... If he releases music like this, and then one of his unreleased songs, I sent you guys, of him driving in Hawaii. If it's like that, his music will probably be one of my favorites of the group. I have no grasp on your taste in music at all. Still? Yeah. Like, it ranges from, like, hard to, like, this. And sometimes I listen to songs, and I'm like, I think Sharon might like this. You don't. <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty predictable when it comes to music. No. Oh. Because, like, this song, I, I was like... I wonder if you like it just because it's V. No. Not because you like the song. I love the song. Dude, this song and this man sings like he's in love. Like, I'm pretty sure he's in love right now. How sad are you right now? No, I'm happy for him. <laughs> the song is just so good. And um, yeah. It is a good song. It's a lovey song. You guys should also watch the drama. Did you finish it? I did. Oh, I've heard really good things about it. It's the one about like they hate each other, like enemies to lovers type of thing. Kind of. The first like three, four episodes, I was like, oh, I hate this. But then it's probably one of my top dramas because it's really, really funny. I think Jam would like the humor a lot and it's not cheesy either. So, okay. Yeah, I was going to say if it's just pure romance, then no, it's not. Pass on it. We will watch it together. Definitely not as romance as like Chloe. Um, Oh. And then the guy has really big, nice hands. Sorry. <laughs> That's a plus for me. Yep. Do a lot with those hands. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she did that on camera. I can't wait to freaking keep that in there. Oh, man. No. <laughs> you don't understand the amount of times that we've made dirty jokes since we've been here. Jam, I mean, not Jam. Vicky needs to get laid. Oh, she does. It's borderline dirty, but borderline like kill me. Anyways. Jam, your song. Okay, my song is called Whenever, Wherever. It's Whenever by Lexi Liu. She's an Asian American artist. Actually, I don't think she's American. She's just an Asian artist, but she just has English in some of her songs. And honestly, I really didn't know what he sent for this week. So I just kind of went through what I kind of been listening to. So it's not like a favorite song of mine, but I like her style because it's a little bit R&B. I also want to continue to just do this like Asian American artist kind of thing or Asian artist. So my guess is that, fuck, honestly, I can't remember how the song fully goes. <laughs> Like, I like it, but it's not, like, not one of those songs I like, really, really like. Um, but I think both of you guys like it because it's similar vibes to what I've sent before. For someone who just casually sent this song, like, this is my favorite song that you've ever sent. Oh, shit. I know Lexi Liu, but I've only... I listened to her when she first started becoming an artist, when she had Manta. Oh, that's like 2019. Yeah. I hated it. Yeah. I was like, oh, I really want to like her because she's a girl and she's Asian and she's yeah. Mandarin. Listen to it. I was like, I don't like this vibe yeah, yeah. at all. And then now you said this song. I was like, holy shit, this is a really good song. She reminds me of um, a mixture of... Um, who do I really like that we talked about that we tried to show Sharon? Uh, Janae Aiko mixed oh. with like Kalani a little bit. Oh. I could see it. See it. Yeah. So yeah. when I heard it, I was like, holy shit, this is a really good song. Oh. And it's like my favorite that you sent. Of all the music sessions yeah. we've ever done. Yeah. You and I, like when it comes to K-pop, have very different taste. When it comes to K-pop, yeah. different taste. But when it comes to R&B, mm-hmm. pretty similar to an extent. Yeah. But yeah. we never really sent like R&B. Sorry, I'm just laughing at if one of you guys tilt your head too fast, the string would just come flying out of someone's ear. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back to old school days. <laughs> like when you guys are looking at each other, you guys are like... <laughs> anyway, 
I also really like the song. I don't know that it's like my favorite, but it's probably one of my favorite songs that Jam has sent. I really like oh. the vibe. Yeah, 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 I really like the vibe. And then I was doing my makeup, and then the next song played Metropolis. Metropolis. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have you know that song? too. Yeah, that song I liked better because it was more my style of R&B with the heavier bass stuff. But I was like, oh, I should listen to her entire album because so far I like like two for two. And I really wow. like her voice. It's not us on the airy side. I think it's on a little deeper side, right? Yeah. yeah. Loki Manta reminds me of early Billie Eilish. Like her really? single. Yeah, th- I think that's why I didn't really like it because I didn't really like not like early maybe like the middle of Billie Eilish's career where it was like very creepy but like oh. like it hits your soul but it only matches a certain mood that you have uh, oh yeah that's yeah. how I felt about Manta and I was like not in that mood to listen to that so I never went back to Lexi oh remember what I sent Jam a TikTok of a girl who took like um western R&B songs and made it into oh, Mandarin yeah, yeah. R&B this is the same exact vibe I literally mm-hmm. sent it to Jam and I was like if this was a thing I want to find artists is like this oh. and Lexi matched that vibe. yeah I think Lexi she she gives me a little bit of like a baddie kind of vibe oh, like yeah. baddie R&B yeah, yeah I like she's that. really young I think she's yeah. like 19, 20 I think yeah. really, really young she's like the Audrey Nuna of China I don't know if it's like that she's that big I'm, I'm not gonna be sure but I think she's getting bigger she's worked with 88 Rising that's how I know her oh yeah Jackson knows her <laughs> be nice she's pretty she's talented dude you know Eileen, Eileen Gu the skier that's like half Asian or half Chinese, half white. And then she got like hella hatred oh, because she represented China. Yeah. She's a model for IMG. She goes to Stanford or she's about to go to Stanford. And then she's also a fucking Olympian champion. She plays the piano. She speaks Chinese fluently and English fluently. Like she's literally the dream of every freaking Asian mom. Yeah. I want to be her. And I'm older than her. Yeah. She's like, fr- she's born 2003. So it's fine kids nowadays are just prettier smarter hotter younger it's fine they just didn't have a childhood that's that's gonna be what i tell myself i was born average how fun anyways <laughs> the song that i recommended is called right away and it's by cookie and ph1 i have a feeling that both of you guys don't like it Okay, in my defense, I was really busy setting up <laughs> the cameras and I was playing it on my phone. So I don't think I fully immersed myself into the song. But based on what I heard on the earphones is not what I typically listen to. But then I feel like it's one of those, maybe if I put it in my earphones, it'll like it better. So, you know, when whoever's editing this, I'll let you guys know my updated um, feelings. Yeah, cue like a week and a half later, Jam's like, wait, I actually like this, Vicky. Hi, everybody. This is Future Editing Jam, and here is my update about the song. It's been about a week and a half, and Vicky, you're wrong. It's not in my playlist. It's an okay song. Like, if you played it, I'll listen to it, but it's not a song that I'll add to my playlist. End of update. Enjoy the rest of the episode, everybody. Wait, is Kugi the one that's recently signed under AOMG? Yes, and the one that you're like, oh my yeah. god, I really like Cookie. And I was like, oh my god, the next music slash is gonna be from him because I really like him. No, see, the thing is, I le- I was like, oh, I think it's him. And I like the two new songs that he put out. So that I was like, oh, I feel like I might like this. But then it's just maybe because I played it on the earphones. So I didn't like it as much. So this is why I'm gonna remain neutral for now. You mean you didn't play it on your earphone in your earphones? No, 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 I played on my phone. You said because you played it in your earphones. Oh, my bad. Wait, what was the song you've recommended before that featured Cookie? Me? Yeah. I have probably have. I I know a lot of artists that I listen to feature Cookie, but I don't know what song. I really liked it. Holy shit, really? Okay, because lately I've been in a big music rut. Like, I'm tired of listening to my playlist. But I'm not making the effort to find new songs. And then yours came on, or I listened to yours first. And I was like, oh, wow, this just inspired me to hunt for new music. So I really liked it. Wow! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's a win for me. Wait, then you should just look at all, all AOMG artists because oh. they're like all kind of like R&B or mm-hmm. hip hop vibes. They're kind of oh, similar, yeah. but they all have their own styles. Can I recommend you Yongji? She's literally my favorite girl rapper. Lee oh my god, I, I watch her this one. She has a show on YouTube. Oh. She's so funny. She's so young. Yeah. Dark Room by Lee Yongji really good she's the only girl to win high school rapper high school rapper oh you don't know it's like show me the money but then high school rappers for younger kids yeah i do know i think yeah she was the first girl to win the season i think i've been more in a r&b mood rather than like a poppy mood so wow 
Oh wait, I've been in the hella big R and B, like like K R and B, or I've been in American R and B. Yeah, I just need to find new music. But then, are you feeling sexy at the moment? Is that why you're having an R and B mood? Sure, maybe. Maybe I'm feeling a little sensual. You should listen to Def JB's alternative ego, D E F Def. Okay, okay. I don't know how she she feel about the other songs. It's kind of jazzy. I don't know if you do jazzy stuff, but listen to again featuring Leon. Okay, maybe Vicky, you should make me a playlist the way I made you a playlist. <gasps> okay, I still listen to your playlist at the gym. So. Nice. Okay, good. But this is Kugi and PH1, right? Yeah. That's so how you know I know this song because PH1. Yeah, see, okay, I heard Kugi's voice first. And then I was like, ugh, I'm not looking forward to... Oh, wait, no. Sorry, I mistook PH1 for Jay Park. That's why I liked it. Because I, I thought it was I thought it was Jay Park. And I was like, oh, no, Jay Park's singing part is going to come up. And I don't really like his voice. And I was like, oh, wait, I like it. He sounds like this. But no, it wasn't Jay Park. Never mind. Oh, PH1 was singing, not rapping. He raps and sings in it a little bit, yeah. This is going to be on my top 2020, 2022 playlist. Yeah. Nice. Like 100%. Let's see. You and I both. <laughs> We're going to say this and then <laughs> fast forward to next year. None of it makes it up. No, there. this one has to be. I listen to it like 10 times a day. Me too. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, speaking of Chloe, they're getting married. I know. I'm going to watch it I don't it again. even watch them. Oh, shit. I don't even watch Chloe, but like them from going to like um what is it what is dating <laughs> what did that just cast slip my brain to dating castmates to dating to getting married is so cute and that was like i think that was like an interview where someone asked her what what was your first love or who was your first love or what was your yeah whatever something first love and she was like this is my first love and i was like ah! i'm gonna just go short circuit myself right now what the fuck yeah let's just go electrocute ourselves <laughs> I feel like I had songs that I would never recommend on Aw because I don't think you guys would like it, but just for other people. Rich Brian's new EP, you guys. He's genuinely one of those people that I'm like, I never thought I would fall in love with an artist or like him as much as I do, but Rich Brian, every single song, never missed. I like every single song on anything that he's put out, even if it's a collab. I really need to listen to Rich Brian. Yeah. Listen to... I'm making you a playlist. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make me something and then I'll listen to it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I that's what and Kanye and Billie Eilish. Oh, Did you guys hear yeah. That? Wait, wait, wait. Before we get into that, I actually been listening to a lot of Megan Thee Stallion. I'm very excited <gasps> to see her at Coachella oh, now. I'm so excited. Megan and Doja. I'm so excited. Like Megan's album has been on repeat while I'm in the subway. I'm like trying so hard not to like bop my head to it wherever because like i'm on the subway with a bunch of people but i'm like yes i'm totally feeling it which one i really like i'll do her freestyles are so good it's actually kind of crazy but i really like mega monday freestyle because there's this one line in it something about olivia pope putting me all these scandals i'm like holy shit this line is so genius so now i'm trying to learn like a few lines from there so i could be super hyped for it if she ever raps it but at the same time i feel like i probably won't recognize that she's rapping that song until it comes on and i miss it <laughs> Uh, you have two months. Do you have anybody that you're excited for, Sharon? Me and Harry Jan Styles. went down the list, but all of them, like out of everybody. There's so many artists. Harry Styles. That's it? Oh. Out of the whole lineup. Uh, I need to look at the lineup <laughs> again. I think she wants like she's, she's a Harry Styles, Harry, Doja, Doja, Megan. Megan. Daniel Caesar. Nikki? I mean, I'll go with you. Oh, I'll, I'll be down to see Nikki. Brian, see, I feel like Sharon's Brian. taste is changing. See, Daniel Caesar, I'm like, eh, because I've seen him three times, but Nikki, I really want to see. Kanye, I want to see Kanye. I want to see Kanye to see Kanye. Kanye, nah. I miss that man is so Kanye problematic. History. Like I go, Kanye. literally. Oh my god, let me tell you. So Billie Eilish, I think she's touring or something. I don't know. And then recently, she had a fan who needed an inhaler in the crowd. So obviously, she stopped and was like, "Oh, get this fan an inhaler, whatever." And then she made a comment, was like, "Oh, I want to stop the show so that all my people are like safe or whatever." And then obviously, media like spun it was like, "Oh, she's throwing shade at Travis Scott and like he didn't stop his show." And she said that just to like shade him for it, but she never mentioned anything about Travis Scott never really said anything related to that just that she wanted her fans to be safe and then Kanye commented on a post that like a paparazzi 
team did on that situation and was like uh Billie Eilish he didn't know what he was doing during that time like you can't just call him out like that and I want you to apologize Travis Scott's gonna be on my stage for Coachella but before we do that I want you to apologize for throwing shade at Travis Scott Billie Eilish had to be like I literally didn't say his name at all but you know I was just like he's so why is that necessary He's so problematic and I don't listen to his music, so it's fine. Yeah, and I never even f- feel bad for Kim K, but like how he handles family situations with Kim, I'm just like, I feel bad for her. But if he performs Life of Pablo, that's like one of my life favorite albums. That's like the only reason why I want to see him live because if he ever performs anything off of that album, I'd die. Hey, I'm filming. I'll call you later. Bye. Hold on, hold on. I was going to uh, Korea the first week of March. There's so many things that we can do now. Sharon's coming. <laughs> Oh god, okay. Let's finish this episode and then we can talk about it. Okay, you're right. You're right, you're right. Okay, well this is it for today's episode. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, wait, really? I think that does wrap up our episode <laughs> though. Yeah. This, I feel like music slash is just gonna slowly become like updates about our lives True. and then music that we listen to and random stuff. Yes. But that does wrap up our episode. <laughs> We're just gonna slow it down a little <laughs> compared to what you just said. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give us a five star rating on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And until next time, we'll see you. Bye. 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 <laughs> I give up. Bye. <laughs>